memory of technology. Playing computer games, because that's pretty much all I remember of technology when I was younger. Like, that's all it was for me, just games like Sega Mega Drive and N64 and like playing Sonic the Hedgehog with like, my brother and sister and stuff. So what do you think the future of games is going to be like? I always think that um, we've reached our peak, but then the year after they just come out with something new and like weird. So What's your favourite console? A PS3. <laughs> Nostalgic, it would probably have to be like a Game Boy, just being able to like actually move around, take it to school, like play with your mates and like trade Pokemon. Become the greatest Pokemon trainer in the world. Capture wild Pokemon using the Pokeballs you gather on the way. With your trained Pokemon, you what's, the, what's the most like recent, mostly most developed game that's like out at the moment? Xbox, Microsoft has like made this thing and like it was just the most surreal thing I've ever seen. Like this person, she just like she walks up to the screen and there's this boy Actually, in the I'm a like, bit nervous. World. You nervous? I don't believe it. This is the first time that thousands of people are gonna see this. Thousands of people. You don't need controllers anymore, it's like all hands. Like all it is just this thing on top of your screen and it can like detect you. Surreal things, I think. Like to a point where reality like, becomes yeah, the same thing. Yeah, like to a point where like the things are like coming at you in the screen and like you've got these 3D goggles and you're in the game. What yeah. do you think of technology? How does technology affect you then? If I'd have to say like it just makes getting out and about a lot easier. Like meeting up with friends and stuff like that. It's just like all you gotta do is just send them a little text. And in a way it does make people lazy. Not like you can just sit in on Facebook all day and just chat to your mates rather than go out and see them. People are saying that you can get addicted to video games and stuff. Yeah. Because, do you think that's actually true? Obviously some people who can like distance themselves from like knowing what's real and what's not. Mm. Like, obviously some people enjoy it, but then they can, like, say, oh, no, I know, like, I'm this in like, my life. But then there are some kids who are just, like, on it 24-7, and I don't think they can, like, register. Like, it's probably not even the effect. When we were younger, we used to just play, like, what is it, like, those, like, 2D platform games, and they were, like, good enough at the time. What is your favourite piece of technology? My iPod, because you can just put all your music on and you're just, like, away. I remember, like, the old school, um, the old school Walkmans. But then you can only carry around like one CD at a time. But now it's like what a million CDs and like one little thing. Which is not a million, but you know what I mean? Cool. Do you think it is? Yeah, that would be.